we have here the PCT 100E. Let's check the alarm condition. F12 indicates that the alarm is activated to act in the high and low pressure. F13 is the lower limit. Uh, sorry, F F13 is the lower limit. That's the 30 psi. F14 is the higher limit, 85 psi. And F15 is the time validation for the alarm. So when the pressure exceeds one of these limits or uh, drop below the, li the lower limit, uh, after 30 seconds, we're gonna have the only an event of a, uh, an event of pressure that can be high or low pressure. And after the 30 seconds, that we're gonna have the alarm condition that we're gonna uh, act on the output. So now let's go to a lower pressure below 35. Let's put here 20. And as you can see. It, we only have an event of alarm, it's not acting on the output. So after the 30 seconds timing, it's gonna turn off the output and change the message here for APLO, that is alarm of low pressure. So let's see what happens. So now it has turned off and the alarm, and the alarm condition has occurred. We can also do the same for the high pressure. If we exceed to above 85, let's put 100 here. Now we, are, we have only an event of alarm. So after 30 seconds, the same, the same thing gonna happen. The output will be turned off and the alarm condition will be on. And we're gonna have AP H I Okay So now we have alarm condition and the output has turned off and the output has turned off. Thank you